Blood-borne pathogens are microorganisms that are present in blood and other body fluids, like saliva, semen, vomit, and human waste, that can cause disease in humans. These pathogens include the HIV virus, which is the virus known to cause AIDS, and HBV, the hepatitis B virus. Although it's unlikely you would come in contact with blood or other body fluids while it aims, accidents can happen. Special precautions must be taken whenever you're involved in cleaning up and disposing of materials from these accidents. There are three areas you need to consider for everyone's protection when dealing with blood or body fluids. Safe work practices and personal protection, general site cleanup, and properly disposing of the materials when the job is complete. Always cover any cuts or open wounds you may have with clean bandages and wear latex gloves when cleaning an accident site. Latex gloves are available in your store. You must wear them whenever there is a possibility that you will come into contact with blood or body fluids. Never wear a ripped pair of gloves. If glass is involved in the accident, carefully remove the pieces with tongs or sweep them into a dustpan. Place the broken glass in a puncture-proof container. Any tools used in the cleanup, like tongs, brooms, and dustpans, must be disinfected immediately after use. To disinfect contaminated materials, dilute one quarter of a cup of household bleach in one gallon of warm water. Clean contaminated areas, like fixtures and the floor, using soap and water. Then wipe the area with paper towels. Next, disinfect the area using the bleach mixture. Your store manager should be supervising the cleanup process to ensure the safety of our customers and associates and compliance with OSHA directives. Each state mandates different disposal requirements, so your manager will need to contact the local OSHA office to make sure this regulated waste is disposed of properly. Any items used during cleanup that are contaminated with blood or body fluids, like Speedy Dry or Kitty Litter, must be placed in a sealed plastic bag along with any latex gloves and paper towels. This bag must be labeled as hazardous waste. Dispose of any materials used to clean up the site by placing them in a plastic bag. And once again, follow your state's disposal procedures for medical waste. This is how you should remove gloves that have been contaminated. Pinch the palm of one glove with your other hand. Then pull the glove down and off of your fingers. Using your ungloved hand, insert two fingers under the inside rim of the gloved hand. Push the glove inside out and down over the glove you're holding. Carefully grasp the inside of the glove and pull it off of your hand. Place the gloves in a plastic bag with any used first aid and cleanup materials. Seal the bag and place it in a safe area. Your manager will show you how to properly discard medical waste in accordance with the specific regulations in your state. Remember to wash your hands as soon as you remove contaminated gloves or any time you come in contact with blood or body fluids. If you are ever exposed to blood or body fluids, wash the exposed skin immediately. Then take precautions to ensure no one else will be contaminated. You'll need to change your clothes should they become contaminated. Don't mix these clothes with your regular laundry. Wash them separately using your regular detergent. Be sure to report any cut or needle stick injury or any contact with blood or body fluids to your manager. Your manager must contact claims management to ensure that any necessary testing and or treatments are made available. Review these procedures for dealing with bloodborne pathogens regularly. As always, ask questions if there's anything you don't understand and always follow procedures. They're designed for your protection. Hello, I'm Jim Barhall. As you've just seen, the people in asset protection are charged with protecting our property, buildings, and merchandise, as well as ensuring a safe environment for the people who work and shop at Ames. Protecting assets is simply a matter of good business. Reducing the losses associated with theft, business abuse, and accidents ensures continued growth for Ames and all the people who work here. 
That's why asset protection is everyone's responsibility. Because we're all directly affected by the cost incurred with losses in our stores, all of us in asset protection depend upon you to help us do our job when you prevent theft by providing superior customer service. Join thousands of other Ames associates in making sound, honest business decisions. Follow company policy and procedures and remind others to do the same and work safely to prevent accidents and injuries. Create a safe work environment for everyone. A store loss prevention team is available to support your efforts and answer any questions. Thank you for your attention and your help and welcome to Ames.